Hello, vlog people. Well, I am I am vlogging from Oklahoma, from the home of my parents, um, where I was not expecting to come uh, prior to Christmas or at Christmas this year at all. Actually, because we were meeting in in Chicago with Danny's family, we alternate. But there was a slight emergency, a slight medical moment that my father had to go into the hospital to um, uh, check on a thing because he had had bypass surgery years ago and they wanted to check on it um, because he was having some shortness of breath and this and that. Anyway, the procedure went very well. The very the good news was very good about his heart. It raised some other issues, but we don't need to go into that now. And, and I am home. I'm actually getting ready to go on a flight to Chicago, but I'm here for a couple of days. We've been sort of at the hospital and home and stuff, so I haven't had time. But guess what? My friend Friday today is my mom, Carolyn. Hi, vlog people. This is the camera right here, but you don't need to ever really look at them because it's really just about us. It's so, all just look at you. So we can look at, yeah. <laughs> it's comfortable that way. So basically, they have just suffered through a horrible, 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 uh, ordeal with the ice storms, which I'm sure all of you read about all over the country. Tell us a little bit about the ice storms, Carolyn. Well, about... Do you mind if I have my cereal oh, while you... You go right ahead okay. and have your breakfast. Thank you. Uh, we had an ice ice storm come in. We had been forewarned by the weathermen that we, it was coming, so we thought we were taken care of. We had full cupboards and freezers and food and flashlights ready and all that stuff. But first thing that happened was the ice fell on the satellite dish, so we were without satellite dish. So I read. It's like practically Katrina. <laughs> and then uh, a couple of days later, the ice storm really hit harder, and we started losing. We lost power. We were without electricity. And my home is fully electric. We were without electricity. so As opposed to some of the other, some of her friends whose homes are not fully electric. They have gas stoves to cook Oh, on. okay. Sorry. We I have... thought you meant like, because we're in Oklahoma, you wanted for people to know that not everyone has electricity. And they have indoor plumbing here, too. Go on. Just recently. <laughs> anyway. We lost... Isn't she adorable? Go on. We had, we stayed in, we curtained off the smallest room in the house. Which is the room that we're in right now. And we lit about 25 huge candles on metal trays, put them in the floor, and we stayed warm that way for two nights. They stayed warm by candlelight. And you know what my brother said to my father on the phone? Because they did have phones, which was strange. Was, we had phones and water. Phones and water. And my brother, when this was happening, I was actually in Nashville with my brother working. And I heard my brother say to my dad, well, this would be a good time for you to learn to read. <laughs> <laughs> that made me so happy. Anyway, okay, you enough know, about I tried you. reading with a book light and with candlelight. It doesn't work very well. You can't concentrate very well because outside... Lincoln did. Outside, all this time, mm -hmm. limbs were cracking very loudly and crashing to the ground. And we have a lot of trees in our yard and we have a lot of trees in the neighborhood. But it wasn't just Sand Springs where we live. Tulsa's whole metropolitan area, the whole state got hit and seven counties got hit extremely hard, and the the streets were covered with logs, Horrible. trees, you couldn't drive through. Well, maybe I will vlog a little so I can edit it in on our way out of town, because the trees just broke off everywhere. It's creepy looking. It's sad. It looks like the haunted forest. And then there's these giant piles of... Well, anyway, enough things. about silly things like that. Let's talk about me and my childhood, because you're an expert on that. Oh, um, boy. Um, I'm sure you have some wonderful... Just a minute, i got one more thing to say. We were mm. without power for more than a week. And some people are still without power. That's so, so sad. It, now, when we think about my childhood, <laughs> last night, or not night before last, we were talking about all the things that um, happened to children, you know. And the just little medical emergencies and little things that come up. And I was reminded that so many things happened in my <laughs> early, that. early years. Very, I was electrocuted. You were a very dramatic child. and you. I was never dramatic. <laughs> never. Ne well. Okay, but these things had nothing to do with drama. I was electrocuted from sticking a metal thing into a... Yes, they didn't cover electric sockets when I was a child. But we did indeed have electricity. And I was choked on a... On you weren't a, electrocuted. You shocked yourself. That's what I would call electrocution. You, you you weren't affected. You got right up and were walking and talking. Well, then why was it even brought up? Because you brought remembered it. Okay. 
Um, you fell down in a gravel driveway and dented your forehead. Dented it. And I also have a scar here, which I say was from somebody chipping a brick into my head with at a golf club, but she doesn't remember that. And then there was also the choking on the hot dog incident. He choked on a wiener and had to be rushed to the hospital by ambulance because he was convulsing and they did brainwave tests. He was he turned out okay. We don't <laughs> know that for here. sure. I but, um, but it was scary. It was scary in the ambulance. I was there was no oxygen in my brain for hours perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> like seconds. <laughs> well, but in the ambulance, I was frothing at the mouth because the oxygen was over my mouth, but there was no passage open. Actually, I was not have. And then my grandmother, my mother denies this, but my grandmother swears that the nurse, the doctor told her at the hospital that I had indeed died and come back from <laughs> no, the dead. No, I was there. It's so much better. She wasn't there. I was there. <laughs> she was at the hospital. She joined she you. She didn't live in this town then. She wasn't there immediately. She's dead, and she can't <laughs> argue for this, but I believe my grandmother because it's a much better story. And what, weren't there other things? Oh, well, I had to then have spinal taps and brainwave tests, and they had... What about the... I had diarrhea so badly that I was dehydrated, and they had to sandbag my little two-year-old body down onto a, a slab with a sandbag. A slab. A, a bed. A <laughs> hospital bed. You know... <laughs> <laughs> there are certain words that one can use that can make things more interesting. Mm. Slab is better than bed. It's very scary. To say slab. Okay. Um, what else? Let's well, see. Well, he just had. To okay, have let me ask you some questions that maybe you can answer. Um, would you? What is the? Um, what would you say the worst <laughs> thing about living in Oklahoma is? The tornadoes, or the fundamentalist Christians? <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to answer We don't that. have very many tornadoes, but we have lots of the other. <laughs> yes, you do. And they are definitely more dangerous. But I'm not around very many of them. You're not. No. Well, but tornadoes, you can't really... Oh, I'll see if you can see. Probably not from the from the glare on the window. Not so much. This we live. They live on a hill. Um, and so apparently during the ice storms, um, transformers, blue bl flashes of light were going off. This is very yes. dramatic. Yes. And we've been known to be able to see tornadoes fly across the sky from here, too. This house that we're in now burned down when I was 15 um, from, did, where did that little stereo come from? Was it Mimos? We had moved in this house five weeks previously, uh -huh. and there was a friend that had a stereo. This is antiquated. <laughs> and Stereo? Your dad hooked it up while we were gone to Tulsa because he wanted to surprise you. And he wanted it to be the, on. He wanted the music to be on, and he left the house, and it shorted out. And nobody, I was surprised. Nobody was home, and it shorted out, but it was in your brand new room. And everything, yeah. all your memorabilia and pictures everything. and everything. I had the clothes on my back. Was in your room. and uh, we, we lost a lot of everything. We lost a lot of everything, but we were... All not we nobody was here. Nobody no one was harmed, hurt, and it was. And this was, by the way, our second fire. The first house, different burned. house, but second fire. We moved from that one, then we burnt the next one. <laughs> Both of them. We were out three months while they rebuilt and re. First time we lived in a trailer, and then there was a tornado. That's a whole other story. Wait a minute. We lived in a trailer while our house was being redone. Right. That's what I meant. When it was, <laughs> you said for three months it was being rebuilt. We this lived is, in a this trailer. Is very difficult. <laughs> it's not for me. Okay, back to the fundamentalist Christians. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, we have to go soon because we're running out of time. Is, see how mom said, is this really going to be 10 minutes? And I'm like, it flies. Well, it does for us. For the viewers, it's probably just a death march. He got to, he's, yesterday was our 50th, Bill's and my 50th, 50th anniversary, anniversary. And Sam was here. I wasn't there in the beginning when they were married. I'm barely 30. I was here. I wasn't planning to be here, but I was here, and it was great. And um, and he has to leave today, and I'm so glad he came home. He was had a big a really, help. He was a great help with his This is my soulmate. This woman is my soulmate, and I love her very much. <laughs> and he has to leave today, but this his, is the camera. his brother and... And our My niece. granddaughter are coming in tomorrow, and uh, next Christmas, Danny and Sam and all of us, all will, of us be will be together, together next year. So. All right, we've got to go. Say goodbye, vlog goodbye, people. Goodbye, vlog people. Say do something wonderful do for someone. Do something wonderful for someone, and have a wonderful holiday. She taught me the wonderful thing. Bye. <laughs>